Hello, bros, it's Geek, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of my new Ironside PC. Uh, I swear I could probably fit inside this box. <laughs> it is literally massive. That's what she said! <laughs> Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Yep. What's in here? Oh, wow. What is this supposed to... Getting started with your new PC. Before booting up connecting any cables, PC will need to move the internal packaging inside the chassis. Uh, with the front view facing you and the left side panel by unscrewing two large thumb screws and... I'll do that after. Yeah, sure. Support discs. Ooh, it's fancy packaging and everything. Holy. Oh yeah, I'm keeping it. I needed a disc holder. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is the power plug. These are some part thingies. And this is some stuff. Uh, yeah, and it comes in a nice you know, handy dandy box. <laughs> A time to, for the actual computer. A box within a box. That's my favorite part about the holy. Crap. Look at that. Look at that! Jesus! Alright guys, look at this. This is top of the line spider web. It encases all of the, uh, the computer. Um, it's extremely hard to take off, obviously, and I honestly don't see a way of getting this out without damaging it, but we're gonna go and we're gonna see what we're gonna be able to do. All right? Okay, let's do it. I did a bad. Oh crap! <laughs> I opened it sideways. Oh wait, never mind. Oh, I did. Oh god, I just ripped the entire front portion off. Yeah, that's bad. I did a bad. Woo! There go. Mm. 
I built this PC custom. I didn't have to choose this case because I know they have uh, budget PCs and stuff with these cases. But I just thought the case looked cool and the way it glowed and everything. So I got it even though it's not one of those. It's a whole complete like, custom thing. But yeah. So. This is my new PC. Um, ooh. And you see on the back, it's got some stuff. It's all metal. I like that. See, there's some plastic wrap on the side here. Not sure exactly. Oh, you can see inside. Ooh. And these things have little caps on them. I'm gonna keep them to keep the tile safe. But yeah, it's got so a lot of USBs. Um. It's got a, it's got some other stuff. What the heck? Why is the power switch all the way back here? Fuck! So yeah, new computer. It's here. Video soon. Yeah, on to gaming setup. All right. So this is my gaming setup. Regular computer chair that I've had since I was like. Fetus. Right here, my headset is the Audio Technica M40Xs. Uh, I've had them for over a year now, and they are literally like perfection. I I couldn't ask for any better headset. Uh, then I have my Platinum Blue Yeti microphone. Uh, I've had this for nearing two years now, and it's literally perfection again. Uh, and then I have a Samson, uh, like five and a half inch pop filter, uh, mesh pop filter. Yeah, I got that at a guitar store along with my headset. I ordered my microphone off of Amazon. I happened to order it on Black Friday. I didn't know it was Black Friday. So I got it for like really, really cheap and just regular wireless Xbox 360 controller. Cause I have a 50 foot HDMI cable going to that monitor there so I can play Call of Duty. Then I have my Red Dragon Curve. <laughs> Karura uh, keyboard. It changes colors and stuff. I have it on red right now, but it changes to green, blue, uh, uh, and there's like a fancy thing that I can't uh, uh, <laughs> can like do multiple colors. Like it flashes, like a techno thing. Uh, then I have my Red Dragon Perdition uh, mouse, and it goes up to 16,400 DPI. Uh, by the way, this doesn't have any macro keys, I don't think. Yeah, um, but this has tons of programmable macro, ma ugh, macro keys, um, 12 buttons on the side, uh, it's got a fire key, and the design of the mouse is like really, really, really comfortable, it just molds to your hand. It has a DPI changer right here that I can change DPI. Um, you can change the color on that too, and the settings. I just got a Logitech joystick that I never really use. I only use it for some like flight games and stuff, but otherwise I don't really use it. I really want to use it because it's really, really nice. I don't really know the specs on that. And I have my uh, 1080p webcam that I use. It's a Rock Soul. Got it from an electronic store, just like a regular in general one. Um, yeah. yeah, I have a GameStop wired Xbox 360 controller I use for PC controllers. Like whenever I game with a controller on the PC, I use that controller. And then I have Sony earbuds that uh, have, I've had for like six years and they literally are perfection in an earbud. And then I broke them uh, accidentally and they had a good run. So I'm gonna like really, really soon, once my iPod gets repaired, buy a pair of Audio Technica earbuds. Um, I would buy these again, but I kinda wanna try the Audio Technica ones just to see. Uh, then I have an Insignia 19 inch monitor. It was originally a TV screen, but I use it as a monitor um, and a TV. <laughs> I don't really watch TV on it, but I do definitely use it as a monitor. Um, it's really, really crisp and just clear and nice. And it's just, uh, I love it. I'm gonna be using this as my main monitor for a while until I get my second monitor for the new PC. And then I have this Dell laptop. Yeah, a lot of problems with this. <laughs> um, basically, so it has an AMD A10 quad core. It's like a f in the 5000s or something, like 5700 and something, I don't know. 
Uh, I don't know. If, here, I'm gonna do it really quickly. An AMD A10 seven. 5745M APU with HD graphics. Yeah, and then the display adapter is the AMD Rayon HD 8610G. Uh, not the best. Uh, it works. But yeah, it was a nightmare getting this computer because I originally, when I bought this computer, it was a Windows 8.1 computer. Um, and it just ran like crap. So I restarted it like three or four times and it just, it, it couldn't run. So what happened was I tried to downgrade it to Windows 7, didn't work out, uh, like I couldn't figure it out. And so with buying the disc for Windows 7 and everything. And then I went and then I got Zorin, got the full version of that, like I, the premium, I paid for it. And I used that for three months and it was perfect. But then no, I, could, I couldn't play any games and screen recorders with crap. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna figure out this Windows 7 thing once and for all. So kind of one thing that happened was I went and, ooh, I have a message on Skype. I got the thing, I installed it after a lot of trial and error. And then I um, had to get the drivers, the wireless internet drivers off of a different computer with a disc and I put that in because the USB uh, 3.0 and like USB ports had no drivers, nothing had any drivers. So I got the wireless internet drivers and then I updated all the drivers. And then I had to go and install drivers separately. Come to find out that I couldn't really get the controller drivers for it because it was still running off of Windows 8 drivers but it was a Windows 7 computer now. So like they didn't give the Windows 8 controller driver. So I was pretty much screwed. But like the whole thing was that like I replaced the hard drive as well. I upgraded this to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, oh, I should probably go into the specs on the new computer, huh? Um, but anyway, yeah. And keep in mind like this has a woven cord and it's really nice. And then this has a woven cord. And then this thing can actually change out cords. And so right now I have the coiled cord on and I use that mainly, but then it has like a straight cord. It comes in this leather carrying case thing. That's really nice and it comes with a really long straight cord. And if the cord ever breaks, I could just face it. I originally had the Razer Tiamat, which had a woven cord and stuff, but it just kept breaking. And I had a bad time with Razer, so I didn't buy from them again. Anyway, uh, so I got these Hardman and Cardman speakers that are there literally. I haven't found anything nearly as good as them. And they are literally just, Amazing. Um, they, they're so, oh my god, they're so good. They're like the best speakers ever. But the thing is, is that with this computer, I have to unplug it from the charger to play it. Like with full FPS, which is really weird, but apparently some Dell computers are uh, made like that. So uh, there's nothing I can really do about it. Uh, the Dell tech support didn't help me. They're just like, oh, if you want help support, if you want tech support, you can pay $299.99 and we also give you free Slurpee. And it, it, it just didn't work. All right, so new PC. It is an Ironside PC. It has some stuff. The processor is an AMD FX 8350 uh, with four gigahertz. Yeah, it's the, the higher end one. Pros uh, I just said it's processor, what the hell? Uh, it's RAM, it has 16 gigabytes of RAM. I got it straight off the bat with 16 gigs. Uh, one terabyte memory, just like my laptop. It has, uh, oh yeah, it's graphics card. Huh? Uh, it has an NVIDIA GeForce 960, two gigabyte uh, graphics card. So yeah, I'm gonna end this uh, unboxing slash gaming setup kind of thing. Uh, by the way, if you want like a better view on the gaming setup, this is it. Um, corner disk and stuff. Yeah, 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 steel Arkham sign, uh, steel Abbey Road sign, uh, okay. Yeah, hopefully this is viewing me, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, like, and please follow the crowd below if you can. I'll see you all next time. Hey.